Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Sebulla and you are watching Sewer Engineer side YouTube channel friends today I am going to share with you my experience in Saudi Arabia how did I get my first job what was the question in my first job interview which type of mistake I did in the start because of that I didn't get salary from my first company and how I switched job to another company for full detail watch the video from start till the end and this is a very important video for especially for the fresh engineers who are in Saudi Arabia or who want to come to Saudi Arabia because I face a lot of struggle in the start so I don't want that you face the same struggle so let's start the video guys when I came to Saudi Arabia so I was so confused about job how to prepare CV job interview question in industry because all my engineer friend they told me that everything is different here in Saudi Arabia from Pakistan and that was true okay so how I get the job when I came here after seven days I get my Akama and there was one of my friend he told me that there is a company they need a steel supervisor structure supervisor steel supervisor so I send my CV to my friend as I prefer in Pakistan no Saudi experience and not in like in a good format but I send it to him when he submit I get a call from the company but the company and the project was in Jeddah and I was in here so I traveled to Jeddah when I reached to the site because my interview was held in the site office of the project so when I see the project this that was a very big project very very big project so I was happy that if I joined the company in this project so I will get a lot of experience so finally the project manager reached to the site office and he called me for interview so I went to his cabin and I sit with him he asked me only two questions the first he gave me the drawing he told me give me the details structural details from the drawing so when I start reading the drawing, so I didn't come directly to the uh, cross section and details. First, I carefully read the general notes, then legends, and then I came to the structural details because he want to know that can I properly read the drawing or not. The second, he told me I will ask one question. If you answer that question, you will be hired. Otherwise, you have to go. I say okay. He told me tell me and giving me the name of a person without that person we cannot run a construction project so i was too confused that it's like it was a very strange question for me i take a time like a four or five minutes was thinking he told me no problem take your time think and then answer my question so at last it's come to my mind i say surveyor because surveyor will give you the coordinate in front and you have to follow that coordinate location and you have to start steel excavation whatever you need you have to follow survey coordinates he told me okay you are right so i was so happy that excitement i never forget because that was my first job when i get the fees and wear the helmet and safety shoes i was so happy taking pictures sharing on the facebook like that but i make some mistake in that excitement and because of that mistakes i didn't get a single real from absolutely from the company what was the mistake I didn't ask them for offer letter I didn't ask them for the agreement I never take picture of my uh, time sheets I worked there for one month I was waiting that they will give me salary but they told me there is some issue so you will get your salary inshallah next month I say okay no problem because the company was giving us 100 real for 10 days of food allowance this next month no salary then I asked the people who are working in their sponsorship from the start so no one was ready to tell me the details what's going on in their company but there was a one guy he told me that we are not getting salaries from one year so I was surprised and shocked but when I see the project I say no I have to work here till the next job whatever they gave me the salary or not but I have to work there because I the project was a very big project and I was getting a very good experience from there so I start 
more hard work on the project to get out of the company and hire hired in another company i was taking part also in the quality control work also in the site work and so in the documentation in that company so after a third month there was a one consultant engineer is pushtun his name is engineer wakar he tell me one thing he say self engineers like a snake they change their color if you stay at sun in the sun for a long time so in your career later you will be in the ac room if you didn't stay at sun right now and you just hide yourself from the sun and you didn't get the hard work so maybe later you will face the problem i follow that rule i stay at sun i did a very hard work and i in the two or three months i get enough knowledge to pass the interview in another company and i start i flying in another company but the next time i check update my cv i put all my experience in saudi arabia so because of that i get responses from the companies and the last and with the chinese company so i get a interview call through the supplier so when i went there they asked some questions about the excavations because that was aramco project and i have a friends in aramco so they give me some standards and i take about the excavation concrete the question which i already share in the videos that questions and i joined that company when i was leaving my first company i asked them for a time sheet they said we will send it to you when i asked i also asked for the salary they said we will send it to you but later till now i didn't receive anything from their side when i asked one of my friend he told me go to the labor court it is easy pay they no need you don't need any advocate so you just file a case and it will be online hearing so when i go to some of my friend he can file the case he told me do you have any id time sheet upper letter agreement from their side i say i don't have nothing i have nothing from their side that i work with them in the project so he say it's not possible forget your salary but when i win the next company i get upper letter from their side month by month i was taking picture of my time sheet and saving it in my mobile agreement so i was working there and that was a very good project getting more and more experience but later they start delaying my salary when i feel that maybe the same problem with agar with me so i try to switch my job and after that i come to this company where i am working right now when i was leaving that aramco project so i th- my two salaries were fading there when i come back i was calling them the supplier there he was not responding to my call i called the hr from the sepco company say contact with the supplier so then i decide to file a case against them in the labor court when i went back to that friend he said do you have any i say i have agreement offer letter and time sheet he say it's not easy he filed a case one time hearing second time here and third time hearing the company uh, attend the hearing and they say we will try to give his money and the i win that case and they pay my all salary after the last hearing in the labor court on the how you will file the case where you have to go on this topic i will make another video if you face any problem with your company so now i am really enjoying my work here in this company so i will give a summary from my experience whenever you are going to hire, uh, join a company you have never never go to a company without signing up a letter when you reach and you join the company and st- going to start the work so take agreement sign the agreement and keep a copy of the agreement and with yourself and also when you feel that there will be delay in the sale so try to take pictures of your time sheet if you did over time there whatever you have take picture and keep proof with yourself if you get any project id so take also picture and keep it with yourself and whenever you are going to leave the project so never run away from the projects leave the project leave the company through a proper way give resign take clearance hand over their properties to them and take sign on the clearance sheet and then leave the company and join other company so that was the way you have to join the company how what the mistake the mistake was that i didn't get up a letter agreement and from the first company but that was the first and last mistake of my life in the construction industry after that i never repeat that mistakes so guys 
this is uh, maybe you will get whatever you need as a fresher engineer so you have to focus and follow these tips which i told you in which the mistake which i did you never have to do these mistakes in your career so guys if you are new here please subscribe to our youtube channel for civil engineering kvq engineering site engineering and more about the civil engineer life in saudi arabia thank you so much for watching the video like the video and share it with your friends thank